Hong Kong's leader Carrie Lam says pro-democracy demonstrators are now the people's enemy. After 24 weeks of rallies, she's blaming them for relentlessly destroying society. Another day of protest on Monday saw chaos and violence escalate. This video shows a protester being shot by a police officer. We've removed the moment the shot was fired, but you can see the policeman grabbing another man before opening fire on the man confronting him. Now, that man on the ground has got, undergone surgery, not thought to have life-threatening injuries. And there's this incident shown by police at a news conference described by Carrie Lam as inhumane. The picture's blurred. They show a man in an argument with what seems to be a group of protesters. One then throws a liquid over him. You see there he is set on fire. He is now in a critical condition. Hong Kong's chief executive issued this stark warning to the protesters whose actions, she says, have far exceeded their demands for reform. If there is still any wishful thinking that by escalating violence, the Hong Kong ASEAN government will yield to pressure to satisfy the so-called political demands. I'm making this statement clear and loud here. That will not happen. Violence is not going to give us any solution to the problems that Hong Kong is facing. Our joint priority now as a city is to end the violence. End the violence, she says. Our China media analyst, Kerry Allen, is here. What reaction have you been seeing to Car Carrie Lam's remarks? Well, this is a very, very bold statement for her to make. I mean, we think back to June when these protests begun. One in four people in Hong Kong were out on the streets protesting. So to now call the protesters or the demonstrators the people's enemy, it is going to send shockwaves throughout Hong Kong and people are going to be very, very angry about this. But in mainland China, the, the media have only been giving support to Carrie Lam. I mean, recently she met with Xi Jinping on the sidelines of a, an international event. And, uh, and, and the, the message that was being sent by the Beijing mm. government was that ties um, between the two are stronger than ever. Let's talk about the different ways that things are seen in Hong Kong and China. When you look at that footage, for example, of the young man being shot point blank, it's somewhat different, perhaps, for Chinese audiences? It is, yes. Uh, I mean, the video begins by showing uh, a police officer walking up to a demonstrator and taking a gun out and pointing it right at his chest. But in mainland China, people are not seeing this. They're seeing a struggle taking place several seconds later. So they don't see the point of the police officer taking his gun out seemingly unprovoked and just pointing it straight at a man's chest. Um, and, uh, and the way that this video is framed as well, it, it almost, I mean, I was watching this and I could understand how people in mainland China might feel that the police officer was surrounded. And let's, let's have a look at the way that it's being seen, it's being shown. Oh, this, this actually is surveillance footage, isn't it? Actually, this is interesting. Yeah. Tell us what we're seeing here. Yeah, so this is another thing that, uh, that's been widely shared today in official media. And it's a, uh, it's a shop where people see protesters are coming and they're suddenly closing up shop as quickly as possible. They want to get off the streets. And you see here demonstrators picking up some of the items from the shop. I mean, some of them, this man here, you can see reaching in, grabbing boxes and then just tearing stuff, throwing it on the street, kicking them, etc. So, um, so again, this kind of, this is what people are seeing in China. And the idea that this is surveillance footage, it's not anything that could have been doctored. Uh, this, this has just played into people's anger in China. They're saying that these, these demonstrators now... That, they're, they're not seeing them as political protesters, really, are they? No, no, they're seeing them as hooligans. And, uh, and some of the language, I mean, with, bear in mind this, with the man being set on fire um, today, you know, they're saying that these are almost like terrorists within the, within the region. I know some of the comments that are being made are saying, why, aren't, why isn't the Chinese government doing more about this? But that, of course, is what many Hong Kong citizens fear most. Yes, absolutely, yes. And, uh, and they... That is the big conversation happening within mainland China. People are saying, this is out of control. The police officers, I mean, they're getting the perception that the police officers are struggling to cope with the scale of demonstrations, the fact that they are now turning violent. And, uh, and yeah, there is a real fury that's been built up that, that people can't deal with this situation. And they're saying, well, we've got a lot of manpower in mainland China. We could be helping out. Kerry, I know we'll be talking about this again. Thank you very much.